Good morning, everyone. I don't know what day we're on. I do know it's Wednesday. We and are definitely going to hit the border today. We are. We are very close to it. Um, we're 228 miles from Spokane, which is a good bit the other side of the border. So we'll definitely make it today. Ben is back in the driver's seat this morning. Thankfully, I can enjoy the ride from the passenger seat for a while. I don't know what you were complaining about. This road is freaking awesome. Yeah. yeah, we get back, we get him back in the driver's seat and the road goes back to a four lane paved, beautifully paved, gorgeous, no, no significant grades road. No comment. Okay guys, we're going to enter customs and turn the camera off. We are officially back in the United States. <clears throat> we cleared customs with no trouble. They did take away our bell peppers and three little tomatoes that had kind of gotten roughed up on the highway anyway, <laughs> bouncing around in the refrigerator, so it wasn't too big of a deal. They were very friendly. Really friendly. Kind curious about what we were doing with our six month road trip, but, but in a polite way, not very, like an yeah. interrogation way. Not at all. And it took us all of five or six minutes, maybe. It wasn't so, busy? No. We turned our data on on our phone. Yay! We have internet again. We are headed for Omak and we're going to get fuel and then we're going to head for Spokane and that's going to be our stop for the night. We are very ready to be out of the RV for a few hours and we're thinking because we are in wine country that we might try to find a harvest host outside of uh, Spokane or near Spokane and uh, stay there for the night or, or so and then we'll head east. Anything else baby? No, that's it. Alright, well we are we are here, we made it off the Alcan. <laughs> well the Alcan was well, a long time ago. Was a long time ago We're out of Canada. Honest to goodness, that road that we took after the Alcan was worse than the Alcan combined. So we're very 
glad to be here. And we're excited to share what we see as we make our way south and then east. And we look forward to slowing the pace down a little. We do. We, we hightailed it down here. And we are really feeling it. We're it's not what tired. you expect. No, this is not the this is not the plan once we hit the lower 48. We just really had to get through Canada as quickly as possible for this end of the trip. And on the way home, we'd like to be able to, you know, maybe take like nine or ten days to get through Canada and slow things down a little bit. heading east towards Spokane and uh, we're driving through some mountains and now we've dropped down into uh, completely different climates like some high grasslands uh, but yeah you heard about all those forest fires in Washington we drove through an area that was uh, all burnt up and that smell of old smoke and burnt stuff is uh, very present in the air something else that has really been getting to me this afternoon is we need to get the oil changed and you know the transmission fluid could probably use a change after those hard hills on the uh, way down but I called the uh, RV shop in Spokane and they want was it a $500 is yes, $500 for a uh, oil change and drop the transmission pan to change the fluid that is absurd um, yeah, 379 yes. for the transmission oil change and, and 119 to change the oil in this. I can buy the stuff at Walmart for like $30, give or take, crawl under there and change the oil myself. I, I just don't get it. I guess if they're putting it up on a rack, it takes time, but uh, my big hiccup is going to be where do I go change the oil? So, you know, I have no problem doing it myself. I will buy the bin, which I have one at home, but I didn't bring it because I never, I never thought it'd be that expensive. So I'm thinking we're gonna go to Walmart, buy an oil bin, and then uh, change the oil somewhere down the road. Who knows where? But then uh, we're gonna probably need to find an auto parts store that takes recycled oil so we can uh, dispose of what we get. And then I'll just store the uh, oil drain pan in the back of the ATV. video is about to be over. We just had a lovely 
uh, afternoon. Ran a few errands in Spokane. Uh, caught up with all of our family. Um, spent after a little time being, on the internet. Yes, spent some time on the internet. But after being Replied out of comments. contact <laughs> for five days, we've been busy on, on the internet and on the telephone. And then this evening we have a friend here in Spokane. Gave him one uh, day's notice. Yeah. Called, Less than a day. Yeah. Basically like, texted him this afternoon and said, hey, guess what? We're here. <laughs> And so we had dinner and drinks with them this yeah. evening and realized, hey, this is what we get to do for yeah. the whole time we're down here. It's going to be an amazing experience. <laughs> so we're pretty tuckered. I think the most exciting or the most thing we're looking forward to the most is that we get to sleep in in the morning. First time for weeks. I can't remember the last time we slept in between... Getting ready and being at meetings in Anchorage last week. There's been some long days. Oh. And these 12 hour drives, we've always gotten up in the 6 o'clock hour at least. But tomorrow we have a 12 mile drive. We do. 12 mile instead and, uh, of 12 hour. Should be a unique camping experience. We're going to utilize a harvest host. Yeah. So be sure to check out that video. We're really excited to try this yeah, new fruit farm and winery. Yes. They evidently have really good pies, they have wine, they have fruits, which we're really excited about because we passed oodles of fruit stands and wineries in British Columbia, and we didn't stop at any of them because we weren't sure what we could bring across the border. You know, as it is, they took our tomatoes and bell peppers. Yeah. Which, you know, wasn't too bad. No. Um, but, uh, but we're really excited to go check this place out, and we're looking forward to sharing what it has to offer with you. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment if you have any questions. Uh, we really appreciate you watching and enjoy the ride. And we've had a great time getting everybody's comments. And, yeah. And we just got back online after yeah. four or five days on the Alcan and through Canada. Yeah. It's really fun to get to visit with all of you. Yeah. We love interact, all the comments. So keep awesome. them coming. Okay. All right. Good night. Have a good night.